the, the current needs are enormous and we are expecting the needs to uh, grow uh, if the situation remains the same. We have to bulk up and uh, grow and reinforce our activities. Uh, we know by experience that in a country with sophisticated um, uh, water supply systems uh, like here in Syria, uh, the effects of a long-term conflict will be dramatic uh, and cause progressive collapse or, or degradation of the equipment. So for us in the future, uh, when it comes to water, uh, planning for this potential degradation of system is key and we will invest a lot of efforts on that. Today, the situation regarding water supply, drinking water supply in Syria is uh, critical, uh, although not yet dramatic. Uh, majority of the population is, uh, is urban and we deal mostly with the urban environment and with the population that was used to uh, get water on top uh, and is now facing uh, more and more cuts, shortages, uh, sometimes complete shortages. The displacement of population is, is one of the main uh, trademark of the conflict in Syria uh, with millions of people on the road, whether inside Syria or outside. So this is one of our main concern uh, as far as uh, everyday life goes. The displacement is uh, countrywide. Uh, we have centers and camps everywhere. And uh, the challenges for us is to cope with the large quantity. An example, uh, an example of uh, such IDP centers is the, the University of uh, Aleppo. The whole place has been uh, transformed in a, in a displaced person center. It is sheltering uh, 40 to 50,000 people. Uh, and the ICRC, uh, together with our partners, the Syrian Red Crescent in that case, uh, intervened to bulk up the water supply system, uh, to bulk up the sanitation system. We have large program for garbage removal as well in this place. Uh, and this is an ongoing activity. The main partners that we work with in Syria are the Syrian Arab Red Crescent Society, which has volunteers in most of the country. And then we also use a network of technicians and engineers who are actually still working on the infrastructures and the treatment plant, for example.